Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, how much RAM is now the minimum in 2024? That is right. If you guys do not know of gaming, streaming, all this stuff becoming a lot more demanding recently, the question I want to answer here today is eight gigs of RAM, the minimum still, or is it now 16 gigs or 32? So this is a question I want to answer here today. Now, of course, I got multiple RAM kits for this testing here today. We got ourselves a 16 gig RAM kit. We also got ourselves a 32 gig RAM kit. And on top of that, a 64 kit of ram that is right so we're gonna figure out is the new minimum 16 gigs or is 8 gigs still good enough to get by let's get right into our testing now just want you guys to know that for our testing we're using 1080p we of course have the settings maxed out in ultra on all the games that we're actually playing so that way you can actually see what looks like to play at the highest possible settings with them and not only that is that each of these ram kits have xmp enabled so our actual 8 gig sticks will hit of course 32 megahertz and of course our 16 gig ram kit will of course hit 36 megahertz just because of the fact that's the one we have on hand and the other one we have is a uh, 32 which is now set to 3200 megahertz and same thing for actually the 64 so i want you guys to know the test specs before i go over my thoughts to start off our testing we started with 8 gigs of ram now i want to be completely honest with you guys 8 gigs of ram doesn't really take you too far nowadays unless you're doing super simple tasks like excel word or some other documents that you use in everyday use and that's a big thing with it because once you kind of get into gaming it can really go away really fast so like you might get in the game like rust for example here which is a cpu bound game that's why we're using in our testing that pulls a lot of actually ram cpu power and you can see like we're trying to load on some of these servers right or the game in itself and of course there's actually a requirement of 10 gigs of ram at the minimum so you can see where there's kind of a limitation when it comes to ram with certain applications like other games you can use it like what was it overwatch we used it perfectly fine uh rainbow six siege we used it perfectly fine we didn't have any real issues uh but we still had some micro settings here and there but it wasn't like anything too really impacting on your actual gameplay but now if we were to actually increase it to 16 gigs of ram which we're going to get in here you can actually see with actual rust we're actually playing it perfectly good however with rust we're actually almost near the threshold we're trying to like use most of our ram right here so with 16 gigs you're gonna be able to game pretty much on every single game know the man and on top of that too you'll be able to do some multitasking on the side but not really much else besides that though you can also do 3d modeling but if you're doing 3d modeling with 16 gigs because it's the minimum entry you will not be running anything else in the background whatsoever because that is going to eat up your ram so i feel like 16 gigs is like the minimum for every pc nowadays to actually have if you're building a pc i would say build with 16 gigs and if you're of course we're just buying a laptop or something just to use on everyday use i would say 8 gigs of ram and if you can't find a deal for 16 gigs then definitely go for that because 16 gigs will go you take you a long way and now for 32 gigs of ram is interesting 32 gigs can actually do a lot more than just actually purely gaming you can actually use it for some streaming so with 16 gigs of course you can game stream and that's pretty much about it then of course you're very limited on multitasking afterward but with the 32 gigs you make up for that limitation because you now have two 16 gig sticks so you can now game stream with really no issue and on the side you can also do some editing or some other multitask in the background maybe look up google chrome and stuff like that too which is pretty nice and i gotta say this is probably the best thing to do if you are someone who games a lot who streams a lot who does some editing on the side 32 gigs will take you so freaking far which is just amazing and i run all my pcs with uh 32 gigs like as soon as i get a new pc i instantly upgrade my ram from maybe like 8 to 16 to 32 because 32 is basically you're set for most of your timing unless you need some more for some other reasons maybe like you're editing or with 8k footage or 6k footage then you might get into 64 but you're gonna see throughout our testing we actually go from what is it 8 gigs to 64 gigs and of course her fps will increase slowly throughout the actual testing and it's not a huge increase depending on like how much ram you have you might gain like a 5 to 10 percent gain so that's like another 20 or 30 fps which is pretty nice but ram doesn't really impact too much once you kind of get past like 16 gigs once you get the 16 gigs you're pretty much going to be able to game anything you want and as long as you're not doing anything else you probably won't see your frames really drop but then of course you do like do some other stuff on the side you might want to have more ram like 32 because then like your frames won't really get impacted too much because you have so much more resources for the pc to pull from to actually use for multitasking so yeah i say the better minimum the entry right now for 2024 is definitely 16 gigs and if you want to be safe for like the long term go 32 and if you need some serious ram for maybe some serious applications that you know what you need 64 gigs or 128 gigs then you buy that excessive amount like we recently upgraded my brother's pc 
64 gigs for uh, his coding stuff. So hopefully you get the idea of what I'm talking about. Depending on like what your use case for your RAM is, it actually might require some amount. So I actually will have a cheat sheet linked down below that goes over how much RAM would I recommend using for certain applications. Of course, like for the eight gigs for everyday use. And of course you're just purely gaming. Go for 16 gigs, you'll be set for the time being. And then you can do some streaming on the side with it. But of course, if you want to be like set for the long term and pretty much good to go, go for 32. So that way you can of course like edit footage if you want to you can stream game maybe do some other applications if you get interested in blender or 3d modeling you can absolutely do so with 32 gigs and i would always say like upgrade your ram first over everything else unless you get, don't have enough storage and yeah definitely upgrade your storage over your ram because like that matters but yeah i want to share my final thoughts on that with you guys here today and hopefully you guys did find this video helpful and did learn something from it and of course i will have all the ram kits i actually used today's video link in the description down below if you want to grab them for yourself so if you do use those links always appreciate it they do support the channel at no cost to you whatsoever so i'm very grateful you do use those links but if you guys enjoyed this video here today make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to me some future tech content i'll see you guys around one tech grant